Yep, uh, that was uh, one of the original jingles when the KIOA good guys were around. And, and boy, we're so happy. I'm so happy today. I'll tell you what, this has made my fair already. In walks, first of all, Dick Vance, who was uh, the instrumental in getting the old youngster in the radio back in about 1922. And uh, he hired me first at KSO. And, but before that, we went out to the Valair one Thursday night. They had a KIOA sock hop out there. And, uh, and they had a disc jockey contest. And luckily, I won. And Frosty Mitchell was the MC. And Frosty Mitchell and Dick Vance are two of the legends of rock and roll radio here in Des Moines. And when you say the old youngster's a legend, these guys are the true legends. On my right, if you're looking toward the radio... <laughs> is is Frosty Mitchell. How you doing, Frosty? Dick, it's just great to be back uh, and uh, on KIOA. We were AM only at that uh, a particular time uh, way back then. Obviously, as you pointed out, I was the MC, not the judge of the talent contest, or, you would, or Vance would have never heard of you. <laughs> See? I knew he was going to zing me right off the bat. And, uh, well, the next day, the, you, uh, watch it, don't give him any more. Okay. But the next day, you interviewed me on KIOA, and I was thrilled I was an East High Junior or something. And uh, you never offered me a job. So I went over to Dick Vance, and, and Dick said he needed somebody weak, and so he brought me on. How you doing, Richard? Great, and it's a privilege for me to be on KIOA. I was never good enough to get a job on KIOA. I always had to go to the other station and uh, kind of followed Frosty around. Uh, from the Val Air, to, uh, walking for the March of Dimes. He really set the pace around there, but I told him one time when he had his twin girls, I sent him a telegram. I said, congratulations, Frosty. That's the first original thing you've ever done, and we've, <laughs> we've had a great relationship all these years. I'll tell you what, I, I just used to sit back as a young, young teenager at East High and listen to all the guys on KIOA and KSO. There was Vance and Gordy Dodge and, and so many others at uh, KSO, and then at that time, uh, the good guys consisted. When you first got into radio at uh, at KIOA, you had who, who were some of the guys that uh, these people will remember? Well, actually, the original and a fellow that passed away in the last uh, year was the late Don Bell. That yeah, was that Don was Bell. the credo move with Don Bell from KRNT to the new KIOA, and uh, he he was the leader. Then, uh, of course, a, a talent that just came out of left field was a guy named Don McKinnon. Yeah. Don was killed out in the Laguna Beach, uh, California, in an auto accident. A tremendous talent. Mm -hmm. uh, and, of course, uh, Doug McKinnon Doug was McKinnon. his brother. Ed Montre was wow. a, a, another Ed uh, Montre. And, of course, uh, we had the Ray Carney in the Mobile News number 1 and Don Hughes in the news, if you remember some of those people. <laughs> yeah. And, a matter of fact, I remember one newscast at... Uh, I think uh, Don, uh, most, uh, who was it that, uh, he also died, he worked in Cleveland, and he was your news uh, uh, news director, and he used to do, like, uh, KIOA, Bannerline News, or... Doc Night Lemon? Doc Lemon. Yes. He said one day they had some uh, glider that went down in town, and I remember the headline, he says, when you're flying your glider, fly it a little wider. <laughs> Doc Lemon, remember? Yes, yes. yes. Okay. We had other news people. Uh, Bob Betts, uh, he's passed away. The late Bob Burlingame was also uh, one of our news people. Yeah. But, uh, uh, but we were just workers in the vineyard now. Over Vance was the morning mayor of Des Moines. Yeah, over The daddy -o of the radio. That's right. Yeah, yeah you man. bet. And uh, so uh, we, we were just... just Peons working along there, but the mayor, with the morning mayor, was on the other side. Yeah, I mean that was a war back in those days, and still kind of a war now. But, but of course, we're the United States part of it. We win it all. <laughs> K -K we, we we were low budget. Uh, <laughs> we we played the top forty at KSO. They could afford the top fifty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, we had a few extra bucks. You know, records were only about eighty nine cents. We could only afford twenty records. You know, we were top twenty. All right, you guys, don't start punching out each other now. <laughs> no, I'll tell you what, it has just been a thrill to see both of you. And, uh, and have you on my show. But uh, as uh, nowadays radio goes, we don't have a whole lot of time to spend with you. And I could talk to you guys for 25 hours. All I can say is that I love you both. And because of you two guys, I've had uh, 41 years of pure hell.